Hi everybody, it's Jen. I'm just doing a really quick video because I have a haul that I wanted to share with you guys. I know I said I wasn't going to be buying too much, but I went a little crazy at the drugstore and I had to share this stuff with you guys. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. The majority of the stuff, like the whole beginning part of the stuff is all going to be drugstore products and I purchased at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, I had been doing a lot of YouTube watching, so of course uh, I get a little obsessive about seeing things that I haven't tried before and wanting to get my hands on them. And also I have gotten rid of a lot of products lately that I feel like I needed to replace. Um, so I will be going over every single thing with you guys and I want to go ahead and get started with that right now. A lot of this I haven't even really looked at. The only thing I do is open stuff to make sure that it's not damaged. Um, and I only did that to one item. So we're going to get started right away. I'm really excited. The first thing is just a very basic NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Um, the reason I got this is because I actually have the NYX eyeshadow base in, I think it's just in the shade white. Yeah, so shade white. And the reason I use this is obviously to uh, make my light colors just very prominent and stand out. But I've never actually used this before I've only used the base so I'm gonna see if this is good plus I believe that the the white one that I own already is expiring or it has expired probably a while ago um, and I I want to start using a lot more colorful eyeshadows on my eyes obviously um, so I'm going to like try this out and let you guys know what I think but this is just an old-school tool that everyone has used for years and years and years that I've never actually tried myself personally um, I also picked up, I don't even know where to start next. Um, the next thing I got is, let's just go right into this. Um, the Revolution Makeup in Translucent, it's powder. And I wanted to get banana, but for some reason I picked Translucent. I don't know what was wrong with me. I think I was freaking because it was the first time I had been in a public setting like in a store in months and I think I just wanted to like get in and get out and I'm sorry I keep fixing my hair and stuff um I just was kind of freaking I had a face mask on and I always bring like you know I not isopropyl alcohol but um hand sanitizer and I bring wipes in my car to like wipe everything off that I touch and I'm like really anal about that kind of stuff but of course I was like freaking and I was looking like I don't know what to buy there was banana deep and banana and this and some other things and I was just like okay translucent I know that and I'm just gonna grab it but I also eventually want to get the banana powder I have talked to you guys a lot about this recently I own a lot of setting powders and I don't use them often and I really need to start using them often but for some reason I keep buying more which is like a little insane, but I really wanna try more products because I think the reason I don't use the products is because I'm always going to my old faithfuls and not expanding my horizons. And lately I've been really loving trying new things. So this is one of those new things that I'm gonna try. So if you guys have tried this, please let me know in the comments below if you've tried it and what your thoughts are. I would love to know. Um, the next thing I picked up is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock mattifying primer it's a long wear primer and the reason I got this is because I have the foundation in matte infallible and I absolutely love it it's one of my very favorite foundations and I've always wanted to try this and recently I have been going through a couple of different primers that I've been enjoying and I'm I'm always going to my MAC one and I absolutely love that but it gets a little bit pricey so I thought I would just try this out and see um, it has one fluid ounce in it and I think my let's see what my MAC one has just to be I'm sorry to cross-reference everything, but this one has 1.7 fluid ounces. So it's a little bigger, but I think this one's about $50 and this one's $20. So I'll see how it goes. And if I like it, maybe this is something that I'll purchase more in the future. But I am, again, like I'm in love with the MAC one. I'm obsessed with it, but I do want to try other ones. Speaking of that, I also got the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Mattifying Matte and Fix Primer and I want to try this as well. It also, oh, it has 0.95 fluid ounces, so a little bit smaller. Um, it says mattifying primer, it has dimethicone, um, cross polymer silica, ooh, this might be a silicone primer. I'm not really sure I'm going to enjoy that. We'll see. I mean, it's, I'm going to try it, right? Like this one has water, oh, dimethicone, propylene glycol, like, I don't even know my I don't have I can't see that right now it's too small but 
I'm going to try these and see what I think. And again, I'm, I would love to know your opinions. If you've tried those, let me know what you think for sure. Uh, I also picked up the L'Oreal Paris 24 hour infallible pro matte foundation in 104. I currently have the shade 102. This is old. You can tell the packaging has already changed, um, but I'm close to being done this I want to say it's probably halfway or less than halfway down um, and I wanted to get a shade or two darker because I just got rid of my MAC 4 number 4.0 and so I wanted to get something a little bit deeper because some of my other foundations are slightly expired so I wanted to get something that was a little bit newer and something that might work for me um, that's from the drugstore that's darker for my summertime skin because I do tan quite a bit. Uh, and then I also picked up the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. I got a lot of mattifying oil control stuff because I am an oily girl. Um, I find that if I wear makeup throughout the day, I tend to get very, very oily and I feel the foundation almost sitting on top of the oil. And so I want to get products that will help me and that I can spray on my face throughout the day to keep that oil at bay so anything that has like a, like a slight alcohol to it that will like dry out that oil stuff but I also don't want to dry out my skin so I hope this works I'm gonna try it all this stuff is relatively new to me except for this it's just a new shade I also picked up the master holographic Maybelline by face studio prismatic highlighter in the shade 050 I want to know if this has an actual name to it I don't know it looks like this I don't even know if it has a name or not it just says prismatic highlighter um, so I opened this up because I was curious about it and it is just a bunch of glitter like a whole lot of glitter and is very very pale and white it almost has like a nice creamy consistency to it but um, it's actually looking a lot better right now than it did when I tried it the first time. Maybe it was just like something on top of it, but um, I just, I'm not sure how much use I'm going to get out of this, but I'm thinking I'll try it. Maybe it'll be cute for summer, but it's just got so much chunky glitter and I'm just, that's not my thing. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, but there is no name. It just says prismatic highlighter. I don't know why I grabbed this I actually wanted a different one which I did end up getting and that is the Maybelline master chrome metallic highlighter in molten gold so I saw Jeffree Star do a video on this with this one and a gold bar I can't remember whose gold bar it was but it was a gold bar that I was not going to be investing in <laughs> so um, that one was apparently like a hundred dollars or something and this one was only $12.99 in the US I think this one cost me about I don't know almost 20 bucks if not 20 bucks it's ridiculous I I can't believe drugstore makeup is that expensive now like, I mean maybe I'm just being grouchy about it because I haven't bought drugstore makeup in four years but um, this one that's pretty that is very pretty so I am not disappointed in that I hope you can see that how could you not it's so wow so I'm pretty happy with that purchase I'm really pumped um, I recently just picked up this makeup revolution one this it's not in the right packaging uh, but I did take the sticker off the back and this one's in the shade raise the bar and this is like a really nice beautiful shade I feel like that's probably my favorite one it's just the one underneath it but they look rather similar but this one's just a hint darker so I'm really happy that they're just a little bit different so I feel like my purchase is validated you know how that goes okay um, I also picked up a an, an eyeshadow palette this is a makeup revolution Tammy times revolution or whatever people say X people say times I don't know it's it's basically just they collaborated together and I did open this just to see if there was any issues with it and there isn't but this is what the front of the palette looks like and the reason I got this is because I've been wanting to get different uh, bright 
eyeshadow palettes. I have a ton now and I probably don't need any more. But uh, I will invest in more because that's just who I am. That's what I like. I enjoy it a lot. And I do like to pair uh, nudes with um, colors so that it's just like a pop of color. Uh, this is what the inside looks like. So it has a really nice light. Sorry, you guys can see my stuff going on there. Um, and then it also has a lot of really pretty shades in it. Uh, I don't like that the names are not listed on here, so I'm a little bit disappointed in that. I'm not going to swatch it or anything now because I will do a review on this. I know it's old and I know most of the stuff that I'm using is like everyone's probably seen and heard of it already and stuff, but for me it's really new and I still get excited and I hope you guys get excited with me because I'm, I'm just having a blast diving into these products that I haven't even looked at or heard of in like years because I, I, I felt like I've been under a makeup rock. Um, but there's so many different shades in here and what I like about this is it's very similar to the new uh, Elf and Kissa collaboration where it's got some shimmery colors and then some matte colors and I actually wanted that but when I saw this one I thought I'll try this first and if eventually I come across that Elf one I would love to get my hands on it especially because um, it helps save puppies. I think that, like some of the proceeds go to that and I would love that. But I got this one because it was right in front of my face and it's also has like a nice um, rosy matte shade, which I don't really see a lot of. And so that kind of intrigued me a lot. Um, so I'm gonna try this down the road, let you guys know what I think and hopefully I enjoy it. I don't think it's gonna be fabulous, but I think it'll be nice. Um, the next thing I got was the Makeup Revolution Sof Times Revolution, I guess. Sof X, Sof Times Revolution Highlighter Palette. Again, this is something that is old school. People just have, they all have this in their collections. I'm sure some people have even decluttered it by now. But for me, this is very new and I've seen a lot of people use it. And the swatches have come out beautifully. So... It looks like this. I do have one that's from NYX, I believe, that has very similar shades in it. Um, kind of the same kind of cheapy packaging and stuff. Um, wow. Drugstore is stepping it up in the highlighter game. Of course, that first one or the top one is a little too deep for me, but I get tan in the summer. So, oh, that's pretty. That bottom one. Oh. Oh, I'm excited. So basically what I do is I keep everything, which I just ripped this package, but I keep everything in the original package until I try it. So this is how I know that it's still new and I haven't tried it. And then once I try it, I take it out and I just toss this away or like hoard the boxes in a room somewhere. I don't know why I do that, but I hoard the boxes and maybe it's so if I sell it later, I still have the box. I don't know. I have sold stuff and I still had the box. So I feel like maybe that's why. Anyway, I also picked up the um, Pixie by Petra Glowy Gossamer Duo. Gossamer? Gossamer? Pixie by Petra. It looks like that. I'm sure everybody, again, has this, but I was just so excited to even get my hands on this. Um, I feel like it's very popular. I feel like it's a very... I've never used any Pixie by Petra products ever. Um, like I'm kind of a snob. I stick with the products I know and love and I'm only now branching out after years and years and years because I'm just so excited, <clears throat> excuse me, about the things that I've been seeing. It has really crazy packaging. Um, so this is really nice. Uh, this is crazy is what I mean. Like it had this whole flap and everything just to get it out, but this is a very nice compact product. But again, the drugstore stuff is like, this is okay. But I just don't feel like it's as luxurious as I wish. So we will see what these look like. Oh my gosh. Where have I been, you guys? Wow. That one looks really nice on my pasty ass skin right now. Wow. And I think that other one's going to look bomb once I tan. <gasps> I'm so excited. I feel like a kid at Christmas right now. I am so excited about this stuff. I a little bit went crazy on the spending and I really have to kind of reel it in now um, and watch, but I still have a few more things to show you. Okay, uh, another thing is this Pix Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil. 
And the reason I picked this up is because Bailey Sarian, who I've talked about on my channel before, her channel is just going crazy right now with new followers and stuff and rightly so I think she's so much fun I love that she keeps it real she posts the videos even when her makeup flops even when she well to me it still looks great but for her she's like oh it sucks you know I don't like it didn't I didn't like the way it turned out but this is just what happens and I love that I don't think there's enough of that not everything is gonna be amazing and not everything is gonna be fabulous for everyone so I just love that she's herself and throws on all the videos, whether they're amazing or not, like the finished product is amazing or not, where she shows you sometimes products don't work for everybody. And she just, you know, she just has that natural likability to her. So she had mentioned this product a while ago in a couple of her um, videos. She uses the Max, the Mac Fix Plus and this. And she really really likes this and it's cheaper so I thought I would try this out but I am a sucker for my Mac fix plus I I love it um, but I thought I would just give this a go because why not try new things I'm trying to branch out I'm saying it too much I'm talking too much I'm just trying to try new things and be excited about new things and I hope you guys can tell how excited I am about the fact that I am almost 40 and I am just now branching out because I have been so obsessed with products that I've used in the past and I don't know why I haven't tried other things before. I don't know why it was just so stuck in that spot. I was like, I just have to use these specific things and that's it. I'm still like that. I'm still like that with some things, but I'm really trying to branch out and see like maybe something else will work for me and maybe something else will be amazing too. So. That's what that's all about. So that is everything I got from the drugstore, which I feel like is a lot. The next thing I did was I made a purchase at Sephora. I still have two more purchases coming. I keep adding little things here and there that I want, and now I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna wait until it's a good time to buy. I'm gonna probably wait a few months, use the things that I've just recently purchased for a while, and then buy later, because I really, I really just have to slow it down. Um, so I used a hundred, not a hundred point perk. It was a, you spend a certain amount and you get something for free. And I got the Kat Von D Trooper tattoo liner. And I'm using that today actually on my eye look. This is uh, one of the looks from the um, Norvina volume one. I'm doing a three looks one palette, kind of a little bit of a spoiler that hasn't even been completed yet and it's not posted yet and it won't be for a bit. Um, but I just, I wanted to go on as I have makeup on today anyway and show you. But this is just a, a really beautiful eyeliner and I love how thin it gets and it doesn't get super messy. It's really easy to glide on. It's nice to handle because it's kind of tiny. So I got that for free. And I also picked up the Pre-Makeup Babies by Ula Henriksen. And it has a Glow uh, 2 OH Dark Spot Toner, which I have dark spots. I can't remember where they are right now. I think there's one here. And I have another one somewhere, but oh, here. Um, my, my MAC foundation kind of covers them up well enough where I forget where they are at the time, um, but it doesn't completely cover them, so I can still kind of see them. But this is a dark spot toner, and I'm trying to... I hope you guys can probably see on my hands. I have a lot of dark spots. I'm trying to get rid of that because that runs on my family, and I just want my skin to look healthy, and I don't want to have all those dark spots from the sun all over my skin, so I'm trying to be really good about sunscreen and going to try this stuff, so hopefully it works. has a Banana Bright Eye Cream, a Banana Bright Face Primer, which is, I love primers now, and Fat Glow Facial, P-H-A-T Fat Glow. Um, one Step Massage Activated Facial Instantly Exfoliates and Illuminates. I just, I wanted to try some things that I could add to my skincare routine to see if I enjoyed them. And it was on for a fraction of the price because it's a little set. So I'm going to get a couple of those things just to see what I think and try different things for about a month or however long they last and see what I enjoy and what I want to buy full size of. And then you guys, you guys, you guys, okay. I picked up the ABH Norvina Collection Volume 4. I am so excited. This is, oh, I'm so excited for this. Um, I'm gonna do another three looks one palette with this as well after I'm done the Norvina Volume 1. Of course, again, I'm really late to the game, but this is what it looks like and I did check to see if there was anything broken in it before, um, 
like I showed you guys this right now usually I don't do anything with my stuff I just uh, open it up as I do the video but because um, I'm doing a lot of online purchasing I always want to make sure that what I'm getting doesn't have defects or anything in them so this is what the palette looks like you guys I'm sure have seen this like crazy I haven't even touched it or anything yet this is like only the second time that I'm physically seeing it and I cannot wait to get into this these palettes although a lot of people say that there is no rhyme or reason to the layout or anything and they're just not attracted to that I am incredibly insanely attracted to the amount of options that I have um, it's just ridiculously insane of how many options that you have in these palettes and the payoff is really good so I'm not going to go into too much detail because I haven't actually used this particular palette yet so I don't want to say it's great and not try it so please wait till that video comes up I will absolutely show you I'm sure other people have that video so if you don't want to watch mine that's totally fine I'm not for everyone I get it but I really would like you to join me and if you want to subscribe I would love to have you and for sure have you join in me and checking out this stuff that I'm getting because it's new to me I'm excited I want to share that with you and I will let you know if it sucks too I'm not going to be like everything is great because not everything is great um, I'm a little bit leery to be completely honest about this because it looks like it has silicone in it so I'm a little bit concerned about that if it's mattifying why does it have a slippery product in there so um, that's everything I got that's all my stuff that's every purchase that I made in the last like day or two um oh yeah I wanted to show you guys Superstore gave me some samples in store and for Canadian for like Superstore in Canada I've never had that done for me before I did spend over like $130 but had I known like if I spent $150 I would have got like a ton of points I didn't know that and no one told me until my husband mentioned it after I got home and I was like oh well whatever it is what it is um, so this is the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. I sprayed this with alcohol and stuff like that. So the packaging is kind of blah. But I got a little sprayer perfume sample. I have a shit ton of samples right now. But I'm going to save them all and I'm going to do something with them later. Um, and then I got this. I don't know what this is. I don't even know what this is. But it says um, Eau Thermale Avin. Um... I, I'm not I'm, I'm French but I don't speak it it looks like so oh, soothing eye contour cream and peeling cream you guys can check that out for all you uh, French Canadians or anyone who understands French I wish I did I wish I spoke French I always want to I pretend I pretend I wish I did. I'm a, I'm such a, a fan of the, the French speaking language. I think it's absolutely beautiful and sexy as hell, but I don't speak it sadly, as you can tell by my crappy accent. But anyways, this was really nice to get. Um, it was nice to get a couple of samples. I, I was not expecting that. So um, yeah, that's everything I got. You guys, I'm really pumped about these Pixie by Petra highlighters. Frick, I'm so excited. And all these ones, Sophie times whatever the hell. I don't even remember. I'm so excited. Okay, that is everything I wanted to share with you guys. I have a lot of energy right now. I'm really excited. I'm going to go and play with my kid and have a wonderful Friday evening. And I'll probably talk to you guys again very soon. I don't have a routine going right now because with the pandemic, things are just nuts in my life and I'm working like crazy and stuff. Um, but I'm playing like crazy too. So I want to share that with you guys. I'll be doing some more vlogs and things like that, which will be a little bit better than the last one because I was just stressed. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you again so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can thumbs down it too. I totally get it. Again, it's not for everybody. But I'll talk to you guys again very soon. And yeah. See you later. Bye-bye.